3D HP. My name is Jerry Knapp, and I want to do a quick video on how to make Silly Putty. One of my Facebook friends over the UK, Kevin Sharp, which has a Facebook group, 3D Print and Paint, uh, done a video back in June on how to make Silly Putty. So when you're painting your models, um, and you can't get the tape where you need to tape something off or you got a weird angle, Silly Putty is a great alternative. You get in the little nooks and crannies, you can paint up against it, then you simply peel off the Silly Putty put it in cellophane or something to keep it from drying out and you can reuse it. You can go out and buy uh, Silly Putty at grocery stores or on Amazon or with you know a few ingredients you can make it yourself. So here's a quick video on how he made that and how I'm going to make it. So anyway, to start off with you need a regular school Elmer's glue. You can buy anywhere. Borax you can buy at any grocery store anywhere in the cleaning section. And then you need water and some cups for measuring. So basically, here's what we do. Um, I took five tablespoons, teaspoons of glue, a small teaspoon, and I put it in one of my cups. I pre-did that because it takes a minute to get the glue in there. So I've got five teaspoons of glue. I'm going to take five tea, teaspoons of water and add to that. One, two, Three, four, five. Take my little mixing stick here and mix that glue up real good. Get that water mixed up in it, it's real, real watery. And then to that, I'm going to take some borax and I'm going to add, well, I got four cups of water. Let's just show you here, I got four cups of water in a measuring cup. And I'm going to add borax a uh, teaspoon at a time until the water can no longer absorb it and you see the borax floating in the bottom. That way it's uh, nice and thick. Take a couple tablespoons. Take another stir stick. Kind of a milky color. Just keep stirring it up and hold it up here so you can see it. And I'm looking at the bottom, I can see that there's borax in it and it's not mixing up. So I guess I've got plenty. And I'm going to add one teaspoonful at a time to my mixture here and let it thicken. So I take my teaspoon, grab some of the borax water, put one in, put two in, and let's mix that up and see what we got going on here. And it's thickening up quite well. Oh, and as you might have noticed in my last few videos, I was always wearing that ugly uh, orange t-shirt. Well, guess what? I got a different one on today. <laughs> Captain America. That's probably the first thing a few of you mentioned. They go, look, he has clothes. He can wear something different. I was trying to find my Cowboys hat because football season's about here, but I don't know where I put it. Go Cowboys. Here in Vegas, they're building a Raiders stadium, and I'm going to have to start watching the Raider game to see how well they do. And I'll probably have to root for two teams, Cowboys and Raiders, since they're coming to town. And it's thickening up quite nicely. As you can see. See if I can dig it out of there and get it in my hand. There's part of it. Keep it all out. There's a little bit more. Almost got it. Put my hand down and dig it out. And we'll just kind of knead it in your hands back and forth like you would bread. Try to work out all the moisture. Get it mixed up real well. Mm. 
amazing how well this works. And special thanks to Kevin Sharp for posting this. It's a wonderful idea. I know I do a lot of time-lapse videos online, at least I used to on my Facebook group, Jerry's Projects or 3DHP, and I noticed that there isn't many views. People get tired of looking at time-lapses. If you can teach somebody something or show them something to improve their printer or paint, people are more interested and more apt to watch. So I'm slowly trying to get into doing other things and you know try to get more people interested. And this looks great. And basically, there you go, you got Silly Putty. Now, if you have to have a model and you want to tape something off, you just stretch this over the affected area, the area you don't want to paint, and then you paint up to it, and you simply peel this off, and you reuse it for next time. I suggest keeping this in something so it may not dry out, which it could, probably will. So, I have some Glad Cling, cling, cling Wrap. I can get it out of the box. Simply take this. You can get it to open up. Take your silly putty, wrap it up in plastic to protect it and preserve it so it don't dry out. And then you're ready to go for whatever you want to do a model. So anyway, if uh, you learned anything here, you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you didn't like it, then don't like and subscribe. But I'm slowly trying to get better at my videos and doing a little more here and there. So, But anyway, like I say, it's all you need. You need a couple of plastic cups, a teaspoon, tablespoon, white school Elmer's glue, and then some borax. And there's enough here for a million different things. I guess we'll have to... Read what all you can do with it. It looks like you can use it in the laundry, bathroom, kitchen. You've got many purposes. But anyway, I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, happy printing. Take care. Bye-bye.